Safari 15 in Mac OS Monterey is awesome. I'm gonna go over several of the new features, the streamlined look, it's got new privacy protections, intelligent tracking prevention now, which prevents trackers from profiling using your IP address. It even does upgrades to old HTTP sites and upgrades them to HTTPS, which makes them secure. And you've got the streamlined look where they've gotten rid of the tabs underneath so you gain extra space on the screen they've hidden certain buttons if I create a new tab you're gonna see that immediately the new tab becomes the search bar saving us even more space if I go back to this tab you're gonna notice as I scroll up that this toolbar actually changes color kinda of what's on the screen Right, so it creates a little bit of transparency so you can see what's on the screen behind. So one of the new features that came in Safari 15 is tab groups. So if I wanna take these three tabs and actually turn them into a tab group, I can click this little arrow right here and I can click new tab group with three tabs. What you're gonna see is I'm gonna be able to name it. I'll just name it Apple. And now I can click these little four icons right here, see what these pages look like. All right, so let's say I just wanna start with an empty tab group. So what I can do is I can name this, let's just say money. And every new tab that I add from here on out, so if I do CNN, let's just add this one. We'll add uh, apple.com and that's it. Now I've got these two tab groups. Next new feature is called Shared With You. Shared With You allows people to send you links within the Messages app and you'll be able to pin these links and have them show up within this section. I'm gonna open up the Messages app and you're gonna see that I have this link that I sent myself earlier. I'm gonna control click on it. I'm gonna click pin. And now I'm going to come back and you're going to see that it's shared with me and it's going to show up. I can click on that to launch it. One of the things that you're going to notice with this streamlined look is this whole sidebar looks different. You've got the bookmarks and the reading list now down here instead of the tabs that they were up on top previously. If I want to reload this page, all I got to do is click this reload right there hover over it anywhere in the URL bar you're going to be able to see it. Now let's check out these more options. If I click on the more options I'm going to get my share menu now is within there, bookmarks, and this new feature called add to quick note. What is super awesome about add to quick note, I'm going to do this, I'm going to click this, and it's going to add this whole page to my quick note. Now I can just come back here and click this, but what's super awesome? Let's go back over to Safari. Let's say I scroll down and I just want this part right here. I highlight it and control click, new quick note, and it's gonna save that section in a new note. It makes it really awesome for tips, tricks, whatever you want off of web pages. It's just awesome. And the other cool thing with Quick Notes is that when I come back to this page, so what you're gonna notice is now that I've got these Quick Notes, you're gonna see it down here. So if I open the page, it actually comes up down in the corner here and I can click on this and it'll bring me to the Quick Note. Also from the More menu, I can go down and I can click on Privacy Report. This is going to tell me exactly if this page has any trackers whatsoever. I can click on this eye and it's going to show me what it's done in the last 30 days. It's a pretty slick little report. If you like this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. You guys have an awesome night. Take care.